Hello students, good morning and welcome to my channel. I am Dr. Komal and you are watching my channel Incredible Fitness Quotient. So today we are going to continue with part 2 of ascending tracts. We have already seen spinothalamic tract. Now this is the diagram which depicts the dorsal column tract which is also known as posterior column tract. The other name are tract of Gaul and Burdack. So let's begin. These are the sacred and lumbar fibers. They form first order of neuron in dorsal root ganglion. This fiber ascend upwards and synapse with the nucleus gracilis. And the name of the tract is tract of gall. Similarly, fibers from thoracic and cervical area, they also ascend upwards and synapse with nucleus cunatus. And the name of the tract is tract of burdack. These neuron constitute second order of neuron. And the axons of these neurons, they have three different terminations. These are dorsal external arcuate fibers. They go to the cerebellum of same side. Similarly, these are the ventral external arcuate fibers and they go to the cerebellum of opposite side. While the axons of the rest of the neuron, they cross to the opposite side and they are called as internal arcuate fibers. Now, these fibers they meet the spinothalamic tract fiber that is the spinal lemonisca and form the medial lemonisca. Then, so this is the diagram, spinal lemoniscus and they are forming the medial lemonisca. Exons in the medial lemonisca, the synapse with the neuron of the posterolateral ventral nucleus of the thalamus and this projects to the postural central gyrus of the cerebral cortex. So this is the whole depiction of dorsal column tracts. Now let's see what are the function. They help in fine touch, vibration, proprioceptive impulses, kinesthetic sensation, stereognosis, topognosis and two point discrimination. So dear students go through this lecture. If you have any query kindly let me know. Do share, subscribe and like my videos. Thank you.